making me itch. Look at those. All right. It's been a fun morning earlier today with the Mobile Forecast Center. We were out on the road at St. Catherine of Siena in Metairie talking to the sixth graders about science, meteorology, weather, and all of the different cool and fun things that our Mobile Forecast Center is able to do. And so I want to thank the sixth graders for inviting me. A lot of great questions. And I was also able to surprise my daughter in her first grade class. So Lucy and the first graders also got to come out and see the car. Had a lot of fun and beautiful weather for it today. 73 degrees. I'm not go out if it's hot and humid. If it's nice, I'm there. Hot and humid, uh -uh, ain't coming. 75 was our average high, and our morning low is pretty chilly. 53 at Kenner and had widespread 40s on the North Shore and as you got away from the city. So 47 at Bell Chase, and we will likely see similar temperatures tomorrow morning. Upper 40s, low mid 50s. Outside at the moment, beautiful as we continue through the afternoon. 40 degree dew point, so humidity is only at 30% and very pleasant temperatures. We only got into the low 70s today and probably low 70s again tomorrow and also that chance for a few showers. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Dew points have been very low. This is that good feel air. This is when springtime is enjoyable. Sunshine, mild temperatures, low humidity, winds breezy out of the north. That's what makes it fun. And what doesn't make it fun is when we see maybe a chance for severe weather and that could be could be, could be coming back at some point early next week. Satellite though showing just a few high thin clouds on satellite. Otherwise it has been a gorgeous day. Here's an upper disturbance that's going to be moving our way. Now not really doing much for us, but what this upper feature is going to do is help to draw that front that moved through a couple of days ago. It is still sitting south of the coastline. And what that upper system is going to help to do is kind of draw the front northward and that may help to trigger some coastal showers, maybe south of the lake. I'll show you what some of the models are saying, but that would be about it. Once this trough moves away, it helps to push the front back south and we clear out for Sunday. Then as we get into early next week, here comes another upper system. Now this one is not nearly as potent as the last two that we saw this week and last week. The upper trough is going to help to draw in moisture from the Gulf, add in a little bit of instability and perhaps trigger a chance for some strong to severe storms. On Monday, we'll begin to see the moisture surging in with some scattered rain as a surface load develops, but staying well to our north, it may bring in a chance for some strong to severe storms. Right now, the models are indicating it probably a little bit more removed to our north. However, it does look like it's going to follow kind of a trajectory, which would take our risk of severe weather. Monday over Texas, Tuesday across kind of the same areas, the central northern Gulf Coast, and then by Wednesday lifting that north. So right now, this kind of the entire area is being highlighted for a risk of severe weather. When you start to see that moderate, slight, enhanced type risk forecast, that is in the one, two, and three days. So since we're still beyond that, we just kind of get this broad forecast for potential severe weather. We'll know more as we get closer to Tuesday of next week, certainly by the week weekend, we'll start to get that more fine tuned forecast. So here's the disturbance up to our north. Not really going to see any rainfall from this. Maybe some rain being drawn northward from the warm front and primarily just along the coastline. Now this is the high resolution model I was showing you really keeps any rainfall offshore during the morning hours and then by midday any rainfall would be gone. And that's not what all of the models are saying. This is our precision cast model and it has a little bit more development on the south shore. So either way, the north shore is going to stay dry. I'm keeping set about a 20, maybe 30% chance for some mainly morning showers on Saturday and all on the South Shore. By the afternoon, rain is gone and lots of sunshine by Sunday. So as a whole, Saturday is not looking bad. Then we'll tap back into some moisture and rain chances Monday, maybe some severe weather on Tuesday and looks like another fairly strong front sweeps through by the end of next week. All right, Wednesday, 87 degrees. Wow. Yeah, but then 70s after. I know. I, mean, I know. I saw ahead. the 87. I was going up. ahead. I was that is looking ahead. Stop looking at this day. Why you don't want 87? Yeah, yes, I like 87. Oh, oh, well, never mind. My goodness. Always yelling at me. Thank you, Chris. Go away. Come here. All right. The grand